Hello Internet. So today I figure I'll crack open these dual overload sets. I do have two of them here. And so without further ado, I'll just get right into it. Now I will open both of them first and then open up the packs just to so there isn't a long pause in between. Whoops. So it's supposed to be the six packs and one oversized card. Oh, I hope it's not black and white on both sides. And it's Blue Eyes White Dragon, but it is the uh, manga artwork, so I'm fine with that being in black and white then. Put that up there. And the other one. I mean, I'm not a big fan of oversized cards. I'd prefer... I mean, if I had, you know, just just the artwork, I'd be fine with. You know, just get, give me a larger piece of uh, the artwork. And our second one is... Going might look probably another blue eyes. Oh no, it's the Stardust Dragon. Is that... I believe that's the uh, manga artwork for them. And I mean, it, it looks nice. Nice little bonus overall. I'm probably just gonna cut this apart, aren't I? Yes. Yes, I am. There we go. So we've got 12 packs to get through, so get right into it. So we have Phantasm Emperor Trilode. Trilogic? Jig? Trilogic? Hmm. Requires three level 10 monsters. If this card is special summoned, or if another monster is special summoned from the graveyard to your field while you control this monster, you can target one face-up monster your opponent controls, inflict damage to your opponent equal to half its original attack. Hmm. You can only use this effect once per turn. I mean, big ol' wall of stats... Kind of tricky to uh, get him out, but I mean, if you can get him out, decent enough effect. Reptilian Ech Echidna. Two monsters, including a reptile monster. If this card is Link Summoned, you can target one face up monster your opponent controls, change its attack to zero. That's a nice effect. During your main phase, if your opponent controls a monster with zero attack, you can add reptile monsters with different names from your deck to your hand, up to the number of monsters your opponent controls with zero attack. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn, except reptile monsters. You can only use each effect once per turn. So, not only does her ability work nicely with her, uh... No. Sending your opponent's stuff to zero, but you could also use it with, um... And stuff like Ojama Trio... So I think those are zero attack. Union Carrier. Two monsters with the same type or attribute. Cannot be used as link material the turn it is link summoned. You can target one face-up monster you control. Equip one monster from to it from your hand or deck with its same original type and attribute. Equip monster gains 1,000 attack. If you equipped it from the deck, you cannot special summon monsters with that equipped card's name for the rest of the turn. You can only use this effect once per turn. So... Bit of a shame that you can't use him to immediately link summon for a higher one. But I mean, the fact that you can pull a card from your... Uh, like either play it from your hand or pull it from the deck, which is what I imagine most people would be using it for. You know, attaching it onto the monster, the monster gets an attack boost. And you have the other card for... Uh, you know, to get into the graveyard quicker. Protector Whelp of the Destruction Swordsman. 
Two monsters, if this card is Link Summoned, you can send one Destruction Sword card from your deck to the graveyard. Then you can Special Summon one Buster Blader monster from your hand. Oh, that's a nice effect. At the end of your battle phase, if your opponent controls no monsters, you can target one Buster Blader you control that did not declare an attack this turn. Inflict damage to your opponent equal to the monster's attack. Huh. You can only use each effect once per turn. At the end of the end, the end of your battle phase, if your opponent controls no monsters, you can target inflict damage. I'm guessing that's usable if. Uh, <clears throat> oh, you had something on it that uh, prevented it from attacking directly. We have. Salaman Great, Al, Mir Al Mirage. <clears throat> one normal monster with one thousand or less attack. One normal summoned monster. Okay. You can, <clears throat> you can tribute this card, then target one monster you control. It cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects this turn. When a normal monster you control is destroyed by battle, while this card is in your graveyard, you can special summon this card. You can only use this effect once per turn. Huh. So at least it keeps pulling itself out and it gives some protection to uh, your field, at least. Uh, Raid Raptor, Wise Strix. Two Dark Winged Beast Monsters. If this card is Link Summoned, you can Special Summon one level 4 Dark Winged Beast Monster from your deck in defense position. Oh, that's nice. But negate its effects. Also, it cannot be used as Link Material. If your Raid Raptor Xyz Monster is activated, set one rank up magic spell directly from your deck. And if it is a quick play spell, it can be activated this turn. You can only use each effect once. So, I mean, it's not bad. It pulls out another body. Pulls out another uh, spell from your deck. Speedroid Marble Machine. Once per turn, when your defense position monster is targeted for an attack, you can change its face-up attack position. Also cannot be destroyed by battle this turn. When this card is normal summoned, you can activate this effect. Add one Speedroid monster from your deck to your hand. Also, you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of this turn, except wind monsters. You can only use this effect once per turn. I mean, it's decent enough for getting cards out of your deck. Oh my, that's going to be an interesting thing to say. Christron Halkifibrax. I'm honestly curious as to how they come up with some of these names. Two monsters, including a tuner. If this card is Link Summoned, you can Special Summon one level 3 or lower tuner from your hand or deck in defense position, but it cannot activate its effects this turn. During your opponent's main phase or battle phase, you can banish this card, Control, Special Summon one tuner, Synchro Monster from your extra deck. This is treated as a Synchro Summon. You can, only use, you can only use each effect once per turn. That seems like a pretty nice effect, so... King Yosuke. You can target one monster in your opponent's graveyard, excavate the top card of your deck, and if it is a monster with the same attribute as the target, add it to your hand. And if you do, shuffle the target into the deck. Otherwise, send the excavated card to the graveyard. Also destroy this card. So, seems like something that would be pretty decent in uh, mirror matches, but uh, outside of that, hmm... Not so much. We have the White Mare. Becomes Skull Serpent while it's in the graveyard. Discard one card, activate one of these effects. Target one of your banished Skull Servant or White Mare, return it to the graveyard. Target one of your banished the Lady in White or King of Skull Servants, special summon it. So, good support for uh, the Summon Skulls. Or uh, Skull Servant, I should say. And we're back to the Y Strix.
I wonder how long it'll take me before I start running into doubles. So far the record was uh one pack. Malefic Selector. Banish two Malefic cards from your graveyard. Add two Malefic cards from your deck to your hand. Accept Malefic Selector with different names from each other per and from the banished cards. Good if you're running Malefics, but from what I understand, you probably won't be running four different Malefics. If I, if I understand how the Malefics work. Firebrand Hymnist. When this card is normal summoned, you can send cards from the top of your opponent's deck to the graveyard equal to the number of cards they control. Oh, I mean, that that's potentially good. Especially against Swarm. If this card is special summoned, you can send cards from the top of your deck to the graveyard equal to the number of cards your opponent controls. Yeah, so I mean, it, it potentially helps you mill them out a bit. I mean, gives them more stuff in the graveyard, but... And potentially helps you out by filling out your graveyard. With the downside being that you're milling yourself more. Mayakashi Mayhem. If a zombie synchro monster is special summoned, except for the ex except from the extra deck, even during the damage step, you can apply one of the following effects. You cannot apply the same effect of Mayakashi Mayhem for the rest of this turn. Draw one card. Set one Mayakashi spell or trap directly from your deck, except Mayakashi Mayhem. Send the one monster with the lowest attack your opponent controls to the graveyard. Or inflict 800 damage to your opponent. You can only activate it once per chain. Hmm. Mayakashis were an interesting archetype from what I've seen. Secret 6 Samurai Fuma. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon one 6 Samurai monster from your deck except 6 Samurai, six samurai Fuma. If exactly one 6 Samurai monster you control and no other cards would be destroyed by card effects, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead. So it seems like decent support for uh, 6 Samurai. Malefic Paradox Gear. If a face-up field spell is on the field, you can tribute this card. Special summon one Malefic Parallel Gear from your deck. Then add one Malefic Monster from your deck to your hand, except Malefic Paradox Gear. If a Malefic Monster would banish a monster to special summon itself by its own way, you can banish this card you, you control or in your graveyard instead. Okay, so I know I just said that you probably wouldn't be running uh, much Malefics, but this looks like it actually makes it so you can run them. be interested to see what the Parallel Gears are. at least from what I understand for the Malefics were uh, you'd probably only be running maybe one or two of them because it's to special some of them you have to tribute the uh, non-Malefic card and that lets you use that instead Compulsory Evacuation Device target one monster on the field return the target to the hand oh excuse me Cubic Causality. Distribute a number of cubic counters on face-up monsters your opponent controls up to the number of cubic monsters you control. Monsters with a cubic counter cannot attack, also negate their effects. You can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one cubic monster you control. This turn, each time it destroys a monster by battle that has a cubic counter, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the original attack of that destroyed monster. Huh. That seems pretty good. Awakening of the Possessed. Monsters you control gain 300 attack for each different attribute you control. Charmer and familiar possessed monsters you control cannot be destroyed by card effects. If a spellcaster monster with 1850 original attack is normal summoned or special summoned to your field, draw one card. You can only use this effect once per turn. I'm going to go out on a limb and assume that the Charmers and familiar Familiar Possessed all had 1850 attack, because that is very oddly specific. Malefic Divide. Target one Malefic monster in your graveyard, special summon it, ignoring its summoning conditions, but its effects are negated. And banish it during the end phase. So, I mean, not bad for bringing it back out to swing with or tribute. So, Ravis, the Ancient and Descended. 
special summon or a ritual summon it with spirit's blessing. When your opponent activates a card or effect that targets a monster you control, quick effect, you can target you can discard this card, negate the activation. When your opponent would special summon a monster, you can return this card to the hand, negate special summon, and if you do, banish that monster. Like this is one of those ones where I'm not sure if you'd run it uh like for as the monster, or if you just run it for his uh, hand trap effects. Because, I mean, it's those are both very good hand trap effects. I mean, yeah, when your opponent activates a card or, or effect that targets a monster you control, you can discard this card to negate it, and if they special summon something, which they probably will, you return it to your hand. And banish the monster. I mean, it's oh no, that that's a very good card. What am I getting a playset of him to go along with the uh... oh Ash Blossom and the rest of them? We have Cubic Ascension. When an opponent's monster declares an attack, special summon one Vijam the Cubic Seed from your deck, and if you do, change the attack target to it and perform damage calculation. If your opponent's life points are at least 2,000 higher than yours, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Special summon one Vijam the Cubic Seed from your hand, deck, or graveyard. Then only if your opponent controlled a monster. When this effect was activated, you can special summon up to two more. Yeah, no, it seems like decent support for uh, the Cubics. Let's you get out your uh, Vijam quickly. Has another effect when it's in the graveyard. Witchcrafter Madame Ver. During damage calculation, if your spellcaster monster battles an opponent's monster, you can reveal any number of spells with different names in your hand, and if you do, your battling monster gains 1,000 attack and defense for each card revealed until the end of that turn. Quick effect, you can discard one spell, negate the effects of all face-up monsters your opponent can, currently controls until the end of this turn. You can only use each effect once per turn. So, attack and defense, well, attack is a bit low, defense, defense is fine. One, two, I mean, it's eight star monster, and yeah, I mean, if you're playing, running spellcasters, you're probably going to have spells, and she just lets you, uh, Give a mass a, a very good boost to uh, you know a spellcaster. I have five headed link dragon. Five monsters must be link summoned. If this card is link summoned using dark earth, water, fire, and wind attributes, you can destroy all cards your opponent controls. Cannot be destroyed by battle with a dark earth, water, fire, or wind monster. Unaffected by other card effects, once per turn, during your opponent's end phase, you must banish five cards from your graveyard face down. This is not optional, or send this card to the graveyard. I mean, you can link someone up to him, and when you do, then... I, I mean, you'd have to use the Dark Earth, Water, Fire, and Wind to destroy the field, but, I mean, the rest of the stuff, he's... Protected from all but one of the uh, attributes. Unaffected by card effects. I'm not sure how uh, long he'd stick around because it's five cards a turn. Is uh, no, Removing five cards from your graveyard a turn is pretty uh, steep. But I have another Paradox Gear. And I think this is our first double. And it's one, two, three, four. Yeah, so I four packs in. So that's not too bad. Ojama Emperor. Three beasts, including an Ojama. When Ojama Country is in a field zone, this card gains 3,000 attack. Also, cannot be destroyed by card effects. Your opponent takes any battle damage you, you would have taken from effects from attacks on this card instead. You can target one non-link Ojama monster in your graveyard, special summon it. Also, for the rest of the turn, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck except fusion monsters. Mm -hmm. 
So overall, this seems fairly uh, quite good. I mean, I know the Ojamas are a swarm type, and I mean, it's easy enough to get three of them on the field to uh, summon this guy out. Uh, that seems like a decent support for the Ojama. I'm not saying that Ojamas are good, but this seems like decent support for them. Cubic Ascension. Witchcrafter Madame Vad. And back to the Five Headed Link Dragon. We have Ferocious Flame Swordsman, two monsters with different names, all warrior monsters on the field gain 500 attack. If this Link Summon card is destroyed by battle or by an opponent's card effect while it's in the owner's monster zone, you can target one non-Link monster in your own graveyard, special summon it, but banish it when it leaves the field. You can only use this effect once per turn. So, I mean, stat line... There's nothing really right home about, but he does treat himself, I mean, effectively as an 1800 attack, so that's okay, I guess. And, I mean, at least if he's destroyed by battle or card effect, he brings out another uh, warrior monster back, so. Alien Shock Trooper M-Frame. Quick effect, you can discard one monster, place A counters equal to its original level on face-up monsters on the field, distribute it as you wish. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effects and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon non-link reptile monsters with different names from your graveyard, up to the number of monsters your opponent controls with A counters. You can only use each effect once per turn. Hmm. So, I mean... It Gives a way to uh, get cards into your discard and sets it up so that when he's destroyed, uh, you can bring back uh, the card you discarded. So that's not too bad. Relinquished Anima. One level one monster except a token. You can target one face-up monster this card points to. Equip that face-up monster to this card, max one. You can only use this effect of... Relinquished Anima once per turn. Gains attack equal to the equipped monsters. So. Going to be brutally honest. Not nearly as good as the original uh, Relinquished. I mean it has to be pointed. Uh, specifically at. Whatever is placed directly in front of him. That one isn't destroyed. when uh, Instead of him when it's. If it's uh, attacked. But. I mean, it's not bad if your opponent has something big on the field that you want to get rid of right now. But, I mean, it's just not as good as the original one. Simorg, Berg, Bird of Sovereignty. It cannot be used as link material. Your opponent cannot target this card or a winged beast monster this card points to with card effects. If this card would be destroyed by battle, you can destroy one of the Simorg card you, you control instead. During the end phase, you can special summon one winged beast monster from your hand or deck with a level equal to or lower than the total number of unused spell and trap zones on the field. Huh. You can only use each effect once per turn. I mean, I'm not sure how many... Uh, spells and traps that you'd be running yourself but I mean it seems like a decent way of getting uh, filling up your board at least because I mean you'd probably be usually like if you know you're going to be uh, dropping him you know you could probably be looking at at least four star if you leave the if you're only playing one spell or trap bloom harmonious the melodious composer if this card is Link Summoned, you can discard one card, special summon two Melodious monsters with different levels from your deck to your zones this card points to. In defense position, you cannot special summon monsters this turn. You activate this effect, except Melodious monsters. 
You can only use this effect of Bloom Harmonious, the Melodious Composer, once per turn. If a Melodious monster this card points to is attacked, attacks, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects until the end of the damage step. Hmm. Well, that seems like, uh... Decent enough support. I mean, discard one card, special summon two monsters with different levels from your deck. I mean, you, you can only use the effect once per turn. If your uh, melodious monsters attack, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects until the end of the damage step. So, overall, that seems good. Yeah, we're back to the start. Number 27, Dreadnought Dreadnoid. At the end of the battle phase, if this card destroyed an opponent's monster by battle, you can special summon from your extra deck one rank 10 or higher machine XZ's monster by using this face-up card you control as material. This is treated as an XZ summon. Sum transfer its materials to the summon monster. Huh. You can only use the effect once per turn. If this face-up card on the field would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can detach one material from this card instead. So, it brings out your uh, big guys, uses itself as material, as well as the material that's on him, right? Yeah, transfer its materials to the summon monster. Yeah, so that seems like good support for... Uh, Getting out your level 10, uh, rank 10 uh, Xyz monsters. You have another cubic causality. Oh, Yuki Ona, the Absolute Zero Mayakashi. You can only control one Yuki Ona, the Absolute Zero Mayakashi. Negate any activated effects of your opponent's banished monsters. If a monster is special summoned from the graveyard or a monster is activated in the graveyard, except during the damage step, you can target one other face-up monster on the field, change its attack to zero, and if you do, negate its effects. So, yeah, she seems like quite good support for uh, the Mayakashis, and I mean, it, it's Link 4, but I know that they have a lot of ways of bringing out uh, themselves back from the graveyard, so that's not too bad. Double Evolution Pill. Banish one dinosaur monster and one non-dinosaur monster from your hand and or graveyard. Special summon one level 7 or higher dinosaur monster from your hand or deck, ignoring its summoning conditions. Hmm. I mean, at least it lets you also target from the graveyard, which is good. And another white mare. This actor, Hyper Director. For some reason, I get the feeling that he's supposed to be a uh, caricature of a director, but I can't quite place who he's supposed to be. Well, only requires one Abyss Actor Pendulum Monster. You can target one card in your Pendulum Zone, Special Summon it, then place one Abyss Actor Pendulum Monster with a different name from your deck or face up extra deck to your Pendulum Zone. Also, you cannot normal or special summon monsters for the rest of this turn, except Abyss Actor monsters. So, I mean, it seems decent enough for getting your board set up. I don't know what, uh... Well, no, it just says one target, one car, uh, card in your pendulum zone, so if you have a big pendulum monster, you could bring it out with this and then just replace it with a, uh, actor. Activate this card only if both players control a monster that was special summoned from the extra deck. Negate the effects of face-up monsters special summoned from the extra deck. If a monster is destroyed by battle involving two monsters that were special summoned from the extra deck, send this card to the graveyard. Also, the players who controlled the destroyed monster takes 1,000 damage. Hmm. 
Not quite sure how I feel about this. Medolche Puddingsess Chocolat à la Mode. The artwork is adorable and making me hungry. You can also exceed this monster by using a ring for lower Medolche Exceed monster you control as the material, transfer its materials to this card. Once per turn, you can target one Medolche card in your graveyard, shuffle it into the deck. While this card has Medolche Pudding Cess as material, when a Medolche card is in your graveyard, it's shuffled into the main deck. Except during the damage step, you can detach one material from this card, special summon one Medolche monster from your deck in attack position or face down defense position. I don't know what the uh, Medolche cards are. I'm not sure how good of effect that is, but that seems uh, like it could be a potentially very powerful effect. Kind of need to uh, want to look into uh, what the uh, actual Madolsh cards are because that seems like it might be an interesting archetype. Cubic Dharma. You take no battle damage from attacks involving your cubic monsters. You can only use each effects once per turn. You can send one cubic card from your hand to the graveyard, and if you do draw one card, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one cubic monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand. <laughs> Considering the... Uh, Seeds want you to attack uh, into opponent's monsters with them to uh, turn them off. This seems like quite good. Stops you from taking damage with them. Dangerous Fright for Nightmare. Gain 300 attack for each fairy and fiend monster in your graveyard during your turn only. And considering it requires 3 fusion materials, eh, it's going to be a 2900 uh, attack by default. While this fusion summon card destroys a monster by battle, you can send Fright Fur, Fluffle, and or Itch Imp monsters from your deck to the graveyard equal to the original level of that destroyed monster. When your opponent activates a card or effect that targets this card on the field, you can banish one Fright Fur monster from your extra deck and negate that effect. So overall it seems quite solid support for uh, Fright Furs. I just wish I actually had any Fright Furs and Fluffles. I shouldn't say that. I do have a handful of them. Need to actually look to see what uh, goes into their archetype. So we have another Dreadnought Dreadnoid. Another Hollow Giants. Selene, Queen of the Master Magicians. Two plus monsters, including Spellcaster. If this card is Link Summoned, place spell counters on this card equal to the number of spells on the field and in the graveyards. When an Endemon card is on the field, your opponent's monsters cannot target this card for attacks. Once per turn during the main phase, quick effect, you can remove three spell counters from your field, special summon one spellcaster monster from your hand, or graveyard in defense position. To your zones, this card points to. So, seems like decent enough, especially with the... Uh, equal to the number of spells on the field and in the graveyard, so it'd be quite easy to get uh, get at least three counters on her. Another Protector Whelp. Another Salaman Great. We have another Alien Shock Trooper, another Cubic Ascension, another Yuki Ona. I think this makes my third one of her now. So I pulled one from the, um, was it the Hidden Fist set that had the uh, Mayakashis in it? Another Cubic Dharma. <clears throat> Magical Musketeer Starfire. During each player, either player's turn, you can activate. <clears throat> During either player's turn, you can activate magical musket spell trap cards from your hand. If a spell or trap card is activated, this card's column, except during the damage step, you can special summon one level four lower magical musket monster from your deck in defense position, except Starfire. So that's not too bad. 
I mean, she lets you play those cards from her ha uh, from your hand. You can just put them into the row behind her, I believe, to get her effect off. And yeah. We have the Giga Plant. It's treated as a normal monster when face up on the field. Yeah, you have to normal summon it again once it's on the field. Once per turn, you can special summon one insect or plant monster from your hand or graveyard. You know, I was about to say that this was a bad card because Gemini, but considering that its effect, literally, you can just immediately play the monster from your hand anyways. And as long as you keep it around, you get the extra summon a turn. That's not too bad. Another Ferocious Flame Swordsman. Fantastical Dragon Phantasme. Phantasme. If your opponent special summons a Link Monster, except during the damage step, you can special summon this card from your hand. Draw cards equal to the number of Link Monsters your opponent controls plus one. Then shuffle cards from your hand into the deck equal to the number of Link Monsters they control. When your opponent activates a card or effect that targets a monster you control, you can discard one card, negate the activation, and if you do, destroy it. You can only use each effect once per turn. So, I mean, if your opponent special summons a Link Monster, you can play him for free. You draw at least two cards, and you only have, and you shuffle one of your choice back in. So, I mean, that's not bad at all. And it negates... Uh, Oh yeah, it just has a straight up, when your opponent activates a card or effect that targets a monster you control, discard one card, negate the activation. So that's very good uh, protection. Vanity's Ruler. Cannot be special summoned. Your opponent cannot special summon monsters. So he shuts down like 90% of the set. And another Six Samurai Fuma. And the last pack. Deck Lockdown. Neither player can add cards from their deck to the hand except by drawing them. Monsters cannot be special summoned from the main deck. Destroy this card your, during your second standby phase act, after activation. Well, it's good for slowing down your opponent. Um, I'm honestly not sure how I feel about this because I do really enjoy uh, special summoning from the deck. Malefic Territory. <clears throat> when this card is activated, you can activate one Malefic World from your deck. While this card is in the field zone, neither player can target cards in the field zone with card effects. The Malefic Monster effect, there can only be one face-up Malefic Monster on the field, becomes there can only be one Malefic face-up Malefic Monster on the field with the same name. During the battle phase, negate the effects of face-up Malefic Monsters on the field. Yeah, that was the other thing that reason why, uh... I forgot they had that. I knew, I knew there was some reason why you probably wouldn't be running more than one Malefic Monster in your deck. But this just straight up turns that off, so... I mean, you still have to protect this card, though. Armillary, the Star Leader Dragon, cannot be used as link material. You can target one face-up monster that this card points to. Special summon one monster with the same original level from your hand to your zone that this card points to. In defense position, but negate its effects. You can only use this effect once per turn. You can target one face-up monster this card points to. Special summon one monster with the same original level from your hand to the your zone this card points to. Huh. It's interesting. Double evolution pills. And Golden Castle Stromberg. Ridiculously powerful in the anime. Uh, not quite so good in real life. 
Once per turn during your standby phase, you must banish 10 cards from the top of your deck face down. This is not optional, or this card is destroyed. During your main phase, you can special summon one monster from your deck this, that specifically lists the card gold, Golden Castle Stromberg in its text. You cannot normal summon or set the turn you activate this card effect, even if this card leaves the field. You can only use this effect once per turn. When an opponent's monster declares an attack, destroy the attacking monster, and if you do, inflict damage to your opponent equal to half the attack of that monster had on the field. So I know in the anime it was uh, your opponent had to uh, mill 10 cards from their deck. Uh, and I think it just uh, stopped your monsters from dying, from being destroyed. But this one, I mean, you're looking at, assuming you're running a 40 card deck, you're probably looking at two turns of having him on the field. And I'm not even sure if he's good with the, um, oh, what is it called? Eater of Millions? The one that its attack is based off of the number of banished cards you control. Because I'm not sure if those have to be banished face up for his effect. But, so, that was the two packs of, or two sets for Dual Overload. So if you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe. You guys know the routine. Thank you.